Let's do a compilation of stiffness matrix. This is very useful when performing finite element analysis. For this, let's take a very simple example. Here is a beam discretized by two elements, element 1, 2, and 2, 3. All in all, we have three nodes, 1, 2, and 3. Now in each node, there are three degrees of freedom, translation x, translation y, and rotation. This is from the very famous Euler-Bernoulli beam, if you remember. If there are 3 degrees of freedom in each node, then we have a total of 9 degrees of freedom, which makes 9 by 9 size of the global stiffness matrix. Now, there are many ways to derive this stiffness or the local stiffness matrix over here, which has these entries. This is coming from a fixed fixed beam of length L with a given stiffness, bending stiffness and axial stiffness. But meanwhile, let me just introduce it to you for now and probably we can inspect some of the values over here. But I promise to discuss it in another video how these values are being derived using the euler bernoulli beam theorem. Now let's get started. First, let us evaluate values of each entries of the local stiffness matrix. This part here is 1, we can say 1, and here is 2. Also, this is 1 and 2, which means that this is 1, 1, and this is 1, 2. This is 2, 1, and this is 2, 2. Now, I intentionally left this blank so I can show you how those values are being calculated. For instance, this is EA over by L, or the value of EA is 4,000 divided by the length of 3 meters, which gives a value of 1,333.33. These values over here is also 12 EI all over by L cube, which is 12 multiplied by the value of EI, which is 12,000 divided by 3 raised to the third power which gives a value of 5,333.33. Now let's do the same to element 2, 3 and using the local stiffness matrix we can simply substitute the corresponding value of the length which is 4 meters. Take note that length 1 and length 2 are different. It just so happened that I assumed EI and EA common to both elements but there are some cases where EI and EA are different so for this let's assume that EI and EA is constant all throughout the beam length this is EA over by L which is 4000 divided by 4 and that is 1000 this is 12 EI all over by L cube which gives 2250 now you do the same for other entries just be careful of the signs and you should get the same values here comes the most important part which is how to compile these local stiffness matrix that we just computed to global stiffness matrix the key is to determine the entries where these two elements are connected. Well, definitely node 2 connects the two elements. But to be more specific, these two two block here in the local stiffness matrix connects the two elements. And it is found at the end of the local stiffness element 1, 2 and beginning of local stiffness matrix of element 2, 3. I hope you get that. We are dealing with the block 1, 2, uh, block 2, 2, I'm sorry, block 2, 2 connects two elements, both elements 1 and 2 and 2, 3. Now if we look at the global stiffness matrix, this is from block 1, 1, block 1, 2, block 2, 1, and block 2, 2. 
In the same manner, this is from block 22, block 23, block 32, and block 33. By this time, you can tell that entries at columns and rows 4, 5, and 6 of the global stiffness matrix compose entries from both local matrix, the end of node element 1 and the beginning of element 2, or simply the common block 2, 2. What does it mean? These entries are actually the sum of stiffness matrix from block 2, 2 of local stiffness matrix. That is 1,333.33 from the local stiffness matrix of the first element plus 1,000 from the local stiffness matrix of the second element. And we do the same for the other diagonals, 5,333.33 plus 2,250 and another one is 6,000 plus 12,000. That's all for the diagonals. We also have some other entries. 8,000 plus 4,500. Another one is negative 8,000 plus 4,500. And the rest are zeros. Now take the sum of those and that's it. The global stiffness matrix of a beam discretize by two elements or two elements to wrap it up how to compile global stiffness matrix from local stiffness matrix first you have to know the size of your global stiffness matrix that is based from the total number of degrees of freedom in our case we have three nodes three degrees of freedom in each node so we have a total of nine by nine Second is you have to evaluate the entries of the local stiffness matrix. And third is you have to perform the compilation as I've shown earlier. Now this can be done manually as we did but for this is only for small structure like two or three elements beam. But for bigger structure you can perform with the aid of computer softwares like MATLAB which is really very helpful. I hope you learned something on this video and uh, comment down below if you have some requests and please don't forget to subscribe to get an update of upcoming videos.